<coughs> Hi, Arthur Green, Three not Cranberry. Work, nothing we're gonna happen. Oh, it's not working. <laughs> uh, Arthur Green, Three Cranberry Meadow Road. Uh, I'm um, active as a citizen volunteer on um, Sandown's minority committee studying the uh, feasibility of uh, withdrawal from TRSD. But I'm not here in any capacity for that committee. I'm here as an individual, um, you know, just to give my give my point of view. I, I have some paper material. Don't don't worry. I'm not planning on walking through this uh, page by page. But I did I did want you to have paper in front of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thomas. I gave Tom one. Yeah. You need another one? I'll okay. give one. Okay. I'm set. I'm set. Thanks. Is this the? Um <clears throat> so people know that um, last week the district put out a figure saying that Sandown was going to be liable for six and a half, mil six, six and a half million dollars, and upwards of that, f to pay for the Sandown school facilities in the event of Sandown withdrawing from Timberlane uh, Regional School District. Um, what I came here to say is that there is a strong case that Sandown is not liable for any buyout cost at all. And of course, this buyout cost, this 6.4 million or up, this is the single largest financial issue with in, in, in looking at the potential withdrawal. So this is, this is a very material issue. So first of, first of all, how does the district get to a 6.4 six million figure and why is it still growing? Well, what they've done is a preliminary calculation looking at what they've done in the district, building Sandown North and various miscellaneous improvements to Sandown Central and Sandown North. And they've come up with a figure of about $8 million deducting state aid. Plus they warn that the farther back they go analyzing, the bigger that number is going to get. Now, Sandown every year is allocated a share of district costs to the tax base uh, uh, um, based on capital expenditure. And our share of capital costs over the period that the district analyzed was about 16%. It's running a little bit more now. It's running closer to 20 cents. But over this, dist over this period of time, it was 16%. Now, since... Sandown is allocated 16% of the district capital costs. The district is, in its way, crediting Sandown with having paid 16% of the capital costs spent on each individual facility, including the two schools in Sandown. So then they say, well, if Sandown has paid 16% of these two schools, then if we want to exit the district, we're going to have to come up with the other 84%. And that 84%, when you come down to it, and there's some approximations in round numbers here, but that 84% ends up being $6.4 million. And of course, the more, the farther in, into the past they look, they'll make that figure get larger and larger. Now, how do they get to that? Well, they go get to that in one uh, RSA 195, and I've got the text here. I'm not, not going to read it all word for word cost of capital improvements is an objective number. That comes out of the district's financial records. The share already paid towards such costs, and that's the RSA wording, the share already paid towards such costs requires that there has to be some method of recognizing how much Sandown is credited with having paid towards such costs. So that's what they've done here. They've, they've come up with a method of saying, we're going we're gonna to recognize a certain amount as being what, what Sandown's paid. Now, what's at stake here? Well, if TRSD is correct in their claim about the buyout calculation, it doesn't just affect Sandown. And people who aren't familiar with the numbers and with what's going on, they may think, well, maybe Sandown hasn't paid in its fair share to cover the cost of the things that have been done here. I mean, that would be a fair thing for people to guess if they're not familiar with the numbers. But in fact, this method of assigning um, um, credit to the district means that absolutely any town 
in a cooperative school district that has elementary schools built into it, as it does ours, any town would face a near impossible obstacle to withdrawal, no matter how much it's contributed to the capital improvements of the district. So this isn't a case that, well, Sandown somehow has been free riding and not paying up enough. This is a case that any, co -op, any town, any cooperative district would be slammed with a huge financial obstacle to exiting. Now, this is clearly contrary to the state's interest in encouraging towns to organize cooperative school districts. So it doesn't make sense that that would be the state's intent. And in, in fact, and now I'm on page six, my view of the buyout is different. I believe that the phrase, the share which the withdrawing school district has already paid towards such costs, simply means the capital contributions which Sandown has made to the district over the years, a figure which is an objective figure, it's available from the annual reports, and I've gone back through all the annual reports to the founding of the district, Sandown has contributed approximately $14.5 million in capital to the Timberlane School District, far more than the cost of the capital improvements that have taken place within the town of Sandown when state aid is deducted, of course. So that's, um, that is the, the view that I'm arguing here. I will say that, that when I say 14.5 million, I am not saying 14.5 million to the current date because part of the lo legal framework for withdrawing from a school district is that the withdrawing town has to continue paying in to cover commitments for bonded indebtedness. And there is a bond and it is gonna have to be paid out and it's paid out completely in 2020. And even if Sandown were to withdraw in 2017, which is the date that we're looking at, in the first three years of being an independent school district, Sandown would still have to pay our share of that bond because that bond was undertaken for all four towns and it's unfair that a town should be able to walk away from that obligation by withdrawing. So because our payments persist through to 2020 until that bond is paid off, those payments in part accrue to what we've, what the, what the capital improvements have been in this district. So a correct analysis has to include the years out to 2020, and that's what I've done. Now, another thing the RSA says is that the withdrawing town forfeits whatever equity it may have in the shared facilities in the district, the middle school, the PAC, what, or what have you. And on, on this analysis, Sandan would be forfeiting about three and a half million dollars um, in contributions that we've made to the PAC, to the high school and so forth, and that would stay with TRSD. We wouldn't have any claim on it. So that's essentially the situation that's summarized in a table on page eight. And this is where I'm, this, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wrap up here or, you know, if you look at page eight, capital improvements to the schools in Sandown dis deducting state building aid, I'm estimating $11 million. And I have to say I'm estimating that because the only way of knowing it is when the district has dredged through bankers boxes going back to 1965 with the paper records of their investments year by year. And they have not done yet, that yet, they've only gone back to 2000. But, I'm, but the, the, the figures they have got include the construction of Sandown North, building a new school is the most expensive thing that they've done, it's, it's relatively recent. The investments incrementally to add to Sandown Central, you know, back to the 70s and 80s are not big dollar amounts and those would have also attracted state aid. So my guesstimate is that the total number um, uh, for improvements net of state aid is going to end up around the 11 million or less. I think 11 million is generous. Our capital contribution over the same period, 14 and a half. Now, the district says Sandown's credited contribution to the expenses of 
capital in our own district. They're, crediting, they're, they're going to credit us. I mean, when this is all done, looking out to having all of the numbers in, they're going to be crediting us roughly $2 million. My view is that our credit is $11 million because that's the cost that was paid and we've paid in more than that cost. So I say we're credited $11 million. The buyout fee owing from Sandown, the district is gonna, when all the figures are in, they're gonna be asking us for around 9 million or, or, or thereabouts. In my view, the number is zero. And finally, Sandown's forfeited equity on the district's calculation, we've paid in 14 and a half, we're credited with two. They're going to be, s with the, 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 the amount of equity outside of our town that we're forfeiting, according to the district's calculation, $12.5 million. According to my calculation, $3.5 million. So what the district is telling us is that this town, in order to withdraw from the regional school district, has to forfeit $12.5 million and make a cash payment to the district of nine million in order to walk away. So that's the district's position. I'm, I'm not going to go any farther. I'll, I'll, I've, I've, I've trespassed on your time and I, I thank you for it. Um, if you have any questions, you know, here I am. You know, this stuff is gonna be going up on, on the web. I will be emailing people this as well. I did want, it, want you to have it in front of you when I was discussing it. Question two. Just uh, one, sure. I guess one two-part question. <coughs> um, is this packet, is this your packet or is this the, like is this the official packet of the minority committee? Uh, as I said, uh, John, when I, um, excuse me, Mr. Goldman, oh, sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> as I said, Mr. Goldman, when I started talking, I'm here as an individual. I have a position, I'll be making this same position make the same argument to the, uh, to the um, town minority committee on withdrawal. Okay. But I wanted to get it out to the selectmen as well. The, um, the district's position is out in the newspaper as of last week. So I wanted to say, I wanted people to see that there's another way of looking at these things. Any other questions? No. Nope. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Thanks for the work you did on this.